back again. Happy Thursday. Let's get straight to it. We are identifying parts and holes of angles, okay? Um, what that means is we can look at this shape and break it up into two parts, but also identify what this entire hole is. So the first thing that I'm gonna notice is that one part of this entire angle is the angle D, E, F. And that's literally what you're gonna write. You're gonna write angle D, E, F. Um, or you could write angle F, E, D um, for like, you know, fed. You're either fed or you're deaf. Another angle is, another part that we can name is angle F, E, G, which is the same as angle G, E, F. So I'm gonna put F, E, G. Oh, sorry, F, E, G. Um, if you know the angle symbol, then you could do that as well, um, but not necessary. You know, you could have angle D, E, F and angle F, E, G. Now, what these two angles make up, what D, E, F and F, E, G make up is one large angle called angle D, E, G. I'm not sure how many people saw that, but this would be the entire angle. Um, angle D, E, G, and I'll go back to it, you guys can see it. That is what encapsulates both of those pieces of the angle put together. Um, so here's where it's gonna get fun and here's where like the math is gonna come into a, a effect. We know that angle D, E, F plus angle F, E, G equals angle D, E, G. So going back to our steps, um, if we're looking for the whole, then we can find that by adding the parts together. If we're looking for a part, then we're gonna subtract the part that we know from the whole. So what that looks like is, keep this in mind, the sum of the parts uh, equals the whole, which means DEF equals FEG, which means DEF plus FEG equals DEG. Um, so I am going to, <laughs> look at that, still got the work up from yesterday. If you needed it, there it is, and it's gone. All right, so keep in mind, the sum of the parts equals the whole, which means that, yeah, there we go. Which means that DEF plus FEG equals DEG. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a cool little magic trick. We're gonna keep that formula at the top as we answer the rest of these questions. So, part A says, If DEF equals 40 and FEG equals 90, then find DEG. Again, gonna start with just the understanding of the two parts equaling the whole, and then I'm gonna start substituting in the information that I, that I have. So I have 40 plus FEG, which is 90, and then that's gonna tell me what angle DEG is. 40 plus 90 is 130 which means that 130 is equal to angle DEG. And that's how that works. If we go into part B, it will work very similarly. Almost identically. Part B says, if DEF is 40 and the measure of DEG is 130, then find FEG. I'm first gonna start off by remembering that uh, the order of my parts. I know that these two parts equal a whole, and then I'm gonna plug in the information that I do have. I do know the angle of DEF, that's 40. Do I know the angle of FEG? No, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna put a variable right here instead of FEG. And then I do know the angle of, I do know the measurement of angle DEG, which is 130. And if I wanna find out what the missing angle is, I just use my inverse operations that I have learned in seventh grade algebra, and I should be able to find the value relatively easily. 40 minus 40 is zero, which means that that just leaves me with X. And I know that X is equal to 130 minus 40. 130 minus 40 is 90. So what we would say is that the measurement of angle FEG equals 90. 
and that's how you would answer that putting your answers in as numbers and not as um you know a bunch of extra stuff so um make sure you get this down all of the examples that you're going to see um after this page are going to be set up just like that so make sure that you're like taking your time and you're putting forth your best effort why is that that's weird okay um godspeed good luck proud of you go ahead get it done